I said, it's one thing to move to Africa as an individual. It's another thing to move to Africa with your child, which is why I give kudos to Mooney Music as well, because he's out here with his child as well. We're about to record our two videos. I'm just happy that she made it. And we have so much to talk about because we literally don't know each other. So that's the awesome part. So she just arrived, you wanna say hey? Like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> stuff that you wouldn't do in your country like you said, oh like, let oh. me walk you home oh shit. oh i thought you, <laughs> I you were talking to them talk, no 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 I'm like, oh, no i'm talking to them too but they'd be like oh let me walk you home no the men oh you mean yeah, men here like, or you're not gonna know where i live i yeah. don't know you and it's probably normal to them but we like no, i don't bro. i don't know you sir Welcome back to Just Girl the Audi, aka Mighty Intellectual, aka y'all already know the rest. Join me as we travel to and through the African continent as we learn more about the languages, the culture, and why so many African Americans are deciding to repatriate back to Africa. If that is of interest to you, then you need to keep watching. Okay, so I was like, you know, just a little slight anxiety for a second there because I'm supposed to have an interview today with Lala's Journey. I don't know if you all watch her. If you don't, make sure you subscribe to her channel. I'll vlog today and then her interview will be a separate video. But we're going to do the interview out here on my patio at Embassy Gardens. But when the air was on, this thing was really loud. So I was just like, dang, daddy. Like, that's not going to work. And this was the only place I had in mind to do the interview. But I turned the air off and it went off. So that's good. So We'll just sit out here, maybe set up my camera here. The sun is coming from one of these ways. And then we'll just sit down. It should be real slight. She's gonna do one with me as well. I low-key be getting anxious when like, I have interviews with, like when people are interviewing me. I wanted to ask the questions. Don't ask me no insight. But it'll be good, I think. It will allow for some reflection. Her and I have never had like a conversation. I've just watched some of her videos from East Africa. And when I saw that she had recently moved to Ghana, I was like, girl, I gotta meet you. I need to talk to you, need to do an interview. So this will be our first like real live conversation. So I think the interview is going to be really rich because we've never spoken so it's like i don't know anything about her right except for a few of the videos that i've seen so this interview is going to be really special and i'm really excited for you i do know that she took a leap of faith and she's been out here doing her thing for i don't for a while i don't know how long we're going to find that out today but she took a leap of faith with her young daughter and y'all like i said it's one thing to move to africa as an individual it's another thing to move to africa with your child which is why i give kudos to Mooney music as well because he's out here with his child as well so we're gonna pick our brain a little bit this should be a fun interview we don't know anything about her so we about to get into some things okay but anyway i went to the eastern region or i went to koferidua yesterday to do an interview with my friend who's building out there that was dope but i was like out super late so i really just slept in it's probably like 12 now lala is supposed to get here about 2 30 or so so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym and i'm gonna grab some some food from the cafe and y'all gonna come along with me okay <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and go to the gym come come can <laughs> Okay, 
y'all, so Lala finally made it. I'm gonna get her on camera once she comes out just to say hey to y'all real quick. We're about to record our two videos. I'm just happy that she made it. And we have so much to talk about because we literally don't know each other. So that's the awesome part about this. Did you want a bottle of water? Oh yeah. Oh, actually I have one. Okay, cool. Um, Let me open mine. Do you have earring bags? Like earring, I don't. Damn. I already same little two. Yeah. I don't I even have, have any. Lala, say hello to you all before we record our video. Yeah. <laughs> So she just arrived, you wanna say hey? Like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> so we about to sit down and record real quick. We're both gonna do a video. And I think it's gonna be a really good video because we don't know anything about each other. Just this is the first time bit, we, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> so that's good. So we're about to record. See y'all when we finish, period. Okay y'all, so Lala and I just finished up our video. It's gonna be really good. I'm so excited for y'all to see it. We're just transferring our clips onto each other's devices before God, we wrap I up to ask you to do stuff that you wouldn't do in your country like you said, oh what? let oh. me walk you home oh shit. oh i thought you, <laughs> I thought you were talking to them like, no 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 I'm like, no, I'm talking to them too, but they'd be like, oh, let me walk you home. No. The men, oh, you mean men yeah, here? Yeah, like, or... you're not going to know where I live. I yeah. don't know you. And it's probably normal to them, but we like, no, I don't, bro. I don't know you, sir. And then if I was like, oh, let me give you a ride to, and let me give you a ride there. And somebody has sent me a message on Which airdrop. They sent you a message yeah, at but random? Yeah, I didn't read the message. Somebody probably was warning me, like, don't go with that man. Oh my God, that's scary. That's scary. That's so scary. And when I tried to open it up, oh my God. <laughs> it went, but if you look at him, you thought he's established, like he has iPhones. He probably was lying. You know what I mean? Like, but how did you get them iPhones? Like, right. he had two iPhones. So I didn't know whether I could trust him. And then when I really sat down and talked to him, he was like, I've never left Ghana. I would love to leave Ghana. And I'm just crying. Like, Once they tell me that, I'm like, I'm no, it's it. not a connection. I'm, and that's the thing too, you do have to like watch out for people. Let me just sit in here. Yeah, you just gotta let people show you who they are, you know? Yeah. So when they But do, you can't be thinking everybody's trying to get your, your um, American card or whatever, yeah. but at the same time, you still gotta be cautious. Because when they, they tell you certain stuff, like that's one thing they very honest to where it's you can't even run a game. Mm-hmm. They don't run game out here. Because you don't, they not good liars. They're not good liars at all. Like they're very honest. So you know what the game plan is when you really just let them talk. I went on like one day and I'm and also too because there are some very wealthy men here. You just gotta mm -hmm. go to the right places. Yeah, they in this I area. just haven't I just haven't met them. Mm -hmm. There actually was one. I was at you know Good Baker? No, I never is that a it's coffee a coffee shop? shop. They got good Wi Fi. I was going there to do work. It's in East Lake on yeah, they be there. <laughs> and one was trying to like chat me up, but I was like so focused on my editing. I was like mm -hmm. ignoring him. Like he gave me his number, everything. And he reached out to me, but I was like short talking yeah. him. And he just said, fuck up. <laughs> exactly, because they're not gonna chase you. But he was like, he was Ghanaian, but he lived in the UK. It was that wow, type of thing. Okay. So he was here for, you know. Short time. Well, actually, where am I supposed to be airdropping this to your phone? Yeah. Okay, how am I do this? Because it's your, oh, your airdrop will be on. Okay, yeah. airdrop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit you up when well, I'm ready to go I, to Kenya. How do I send this to my phone? Is it on Wait, you have to save it, let me see. Mm -hmm. save it. If it's not on auto save. Try to airdrop it, or okay. did you send it to my phone? My no, WhatsApp? I sent it to your WhatsApp. Let yeah, me airdrop. airdrop it. So, your airdrop on for everybody? Oh, let me see. Let me see the, the voice recordings. This was so good, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to edit. Do you like editing? I fucking hate editing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, but it's what has to be done. But I also like try to get other people to edit too. Yeah. Because it just be a lot. Everyone, it's on. Okay, let's see, airdrop. You ever panic when you accidentally delete one and you realize they have a deleted folder? No, I, I yeah. haven't done that. But I do I've be done scared. that before. And I was like, no! And then I went to the folder. There's a deleted folder? folder? Yeah, it's a deleted folder. On our computers, right? Uh, like the trash. Recently deleted. Oh, yeah, on the phone. Yeah. yeah I and I just saw they got a. Did you get five? 
Yeah, okay. I did. They got a new recently deleted messages. I said, what? <laughs> okay, these, um, you're dropping them down. But it's a bunch of them, let's see. Okay, except. Oh, it's a minute. Wow, that was quick. I don't, no, uh, no, it's coming in, but coming it didn't in, okay. go down. I hope it can. I got some. Stories. That's why I love MacBooks. I love that everything can just be boom, 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 connected. Right. It makes the content a lot easier. What do you use to edit? Is that your iMovie? Um, CapCut. CapCut, okay. Yeah, I like CapCut. And on my computer, I used to do iMovie. Yeah. But CapCut, I like CapCut. Really? Is it yeah, free? Yeah, it's free. Mm. I you have it on my phone, but I haven't used it. Can you use it on your computer? Mm-hmm. Because mm. I'm paying for Premiere Pro. Yeah, I had a stalker. Really? So you got to be really careful. Here? Yeah, or he followed me of... here, girl. He followed me, Stop. and I stopped being so, like, you notice I haven't done any vlogs in my Stop. city. Because he's just weird. Like, he followed me from Netherlands as a black man. He, he what? He followed me from the Netherlands to Kampala. And then he followed me to this city that I'm living in, oh, this please. little small village. Where you at? Yeah, and How nobody you know? even knows about that village. I was referred there by yeah. Ghanaian, so you, it's no way you He's there, about, like, like you see him. Yeah, he came up to me, and then he gave me money the first time. Like, he gave me 20 CDs, like, oh, I just want to say thank you for what you're doing on YouTube. So I thought it was just like a, wow. you know, a fan or something, so I'm just, or supporter, That's whatever. Scary. So I'm like, oh. Thank you. He ran off before I got to turn him down. Then he did it again mm -hmm. at one of the spots that I vlogged at. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this thing is hanging careful. around at the spots that I'm vlogging yeah, at. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Ooh, because you think like, oh, little on me ain't nobody. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, let me put break. my book back in here. Y'all, she's leaving me. We had a good session. I enjoyed her. Now I have somebody to call when I come back to Ghana. Yes, we do. I had a good time. She is so sweet and yes. welcoming. Like my down south queen. <laughs> my down cool. south sister. So, she's so tall. Y'all see she's trying to leave it. Y'all follow me on Lala's journey on YouTube. Period. All right, period. Bye. Bye.